All right, I'm here with a brand new pickup video going over the stuff that I have picked up lately. Um, surprisingly, garage sales have been kind of dead lately. Uh, very, no, just kind of dead, very dead. I've gone out, I've struck out two, you know, two days in a row. This week, um, I'm recording this on Saturday, hopefully to get out on Saturday. This week, um, I didn't even go out because I was checking all over, you know, Facebook, Craigslist, all the usual, all the usual sites, and there was just like nothing out there. There was like maybe ten sales listed, and they were all like old people selling like glassware and stuff, or like a state sale where I'm selling my you know ninety year old mother's crap. So yeah, didn't really get much out of that. Didn't even go out. Uh, figured I'd take a trip um, up to a certain store I like to go to. So I will get into that in a minute or so. Um, but I'll go over what I did get. I got some neat stuff, so I will go over that. Um, starting off with new releases like I do when I have them. I picked up the Mega Man X Legacy Collection. Um, so, I've never actually played any of the X games after or X1. So, I'm looking forward to checking some of these out. Um, since they're going to be new to me and everything like that. Uh... Yeah, the only the uh, first X Legacy collection is on the cartridge. Second one's a downloads, which is I don't know, kind of stupid. Some people got really mad about that. I don't really care that much, but I this is kind of stupid. But you know, Capcom. So um, I'll go into this was a Goodwill find I picked up. Uh, walked in and saw this in like this little bin just up front, and I grabbed it uh, for a dollar. I picked up a Pokemon Ruby. And uh, Pokemon Sapphire Strategy Guide. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, pretty nice shape. Only a dollar. And I like how it's both of them kind of on different sides. I think that was thought that was pretty neat. So uh, nice little find there. Um, this was a... Where should I go to next? I'll go into this one. This was a flea market find. Now this is a flea market that's like an hour away that I don't make it out to. I haven't made it out there in years at this point. But um, there was like a, you know, a seller there. Seemed pretty nice. Uh, they had um, five dollars on this one. This was an NES game I didn't have, uh, and it was a black box game I didn't have. I'm trying to, you know, get as much as I, as many of those as I can. Um, and it is five screw technically. I don't typically don't really care about that, but it is kind of neat to have. Uh, but Gumshoe, it was five bucks, so you know why not? Um, and then this one was my from the spot where I've gotten. I got some pretty solid stuff at this place before. Um, if you remember, I got a really, really great box slot where I got Super Mario RPG, just the box and manual for three bucks. I got the, um, I, you know, stuff like, uh, I got Link to the Past there for like two bucks or something like that. I got a ton of good boxes. I don't remember which video that is, but you'll see the thumbnail and the, the, the title and everything. Uh, but you know, I hit this place up again, got a couple box games here for a pretty decent price. Um, I got Solstice. This one's complete. And um, Zelda. This is the classic series one. Uh, it's just a variant, but it's kind of neat anyway. Uh, it is not the gold cart version, but it is the gray cart version. And it does not have the cutout in the front. Um, it's just a variant, but I thought it was neat since I'm a Zelda collector. Um, I have the uh, gold cart version. I have the gold cart version on, um, you know, on NES, but it's missing the manual and the inserts and everything, but uh, I thought it was pretty neat to grab. I didn't have the gray card at all, so it might as well get in the box. Uh, the guy there, really cool guy, he did 37 for the pair, um, so real nice on that. Um, yeah, so this next find here is, uh, took another trip out to uh, the Stone Age Gamer store in uh, Salem, Ohio. Uh, really cool store, real great store. The guys that work there are pretty nice. Um, I took a bunch of trade stuff. This was all stuff. I'm almost ashamed how bad it got with uh, all this crap I had. Um, you know, I've been doing the game collecting stuff, game hunting stuff. I've been collecting since like late 2010, early 11, 2011. And I have been, um, you know, very small. I didn't have much money back then. but And I've been doing garage sailing and flea market. I started flea marking 2012 and then I was doing garage sailing uh, since 2013, being doing that. And I have really amassed a lot of crap that I didn't realize I had. <laughs> I didn't realize it. I, I don't know. I have a... Ever since I moved, you know, being in the process of moving, which I still am, it's taking way longer than it should. But um, hopefully 
in the coming weeks. Uh, I've been saying that for a while, but hopefully in the coming weeks. Um, but I've just amassed way too much stuff. We have a whole spare bedroom that I have just drawers full of my crap in these like, you know, plastic containers. Um, there's in the back part of this basement here, the unfinished part that's all storage. I have a ton of crap in storage and I got rid of just a bunch of stuff. I got rid of, and nothing, you know, you know, game related. I'm not taking games out of the inventory, but I had like 12 PS2 controllers just sitting in the back there that I would just keep and I'd be like, well, I just, you know, keep it. So when I need to sell a PS2 and it's like, I don't need 12 controllers, (laughs) um, that kind of thing. Just, I had a ton of NES controllers. Just a lot of controllers that I got rid of. I went to GameStop, actually. They were doing the cash same as trade thing. Just a funny little thing. And I took, like, 12 Wii controllers. I got, like, over 140 bucks out of Wii controllers and some miscellaneous other stuff I had. Cash. Just for doing that. But, yeah, I'm just kind of clearing... Trying to clear out stuff that I just don't need. That I've just stockpiled for so long without realizing. Uh, some posters I had from my dumpster diving days... That I'm not doing anymore. It's like posters like Mario Party 10, and I I hate that game. Um, but yeah, I mean just stuff like that. Uh, so I took a lot of stuff like that. I took a, also you know my doubles from um, the Garage Sale season. A lot of stuff that that whole all those PS2 games that I got in the lot last week, last video I should say. Uh, a lot of 64 games that were just doubles that I already had. Just stuff like just stuff like that. Uh, I took all that stuff. I got two hundred dollars in trade. Um, which is a okay for me, way more than I thought I was going to get with the stuff I brought. Uh, just, you know, a lot of miscellaneous stuff that I didn't want or need. I like, I was trading my stuff to the exchange for a while, and I like doing that because you can have a trade card and you can go to any of the exchange and, and they will give you that trade. But I think um, giving it Stone Age better because they, they take everything. The exchange will pick through things. They can, Stone Age took pretty much everything I had there and got rid of it, so that was great. But that's enough rambling there. I will get into the pickups there. Uh, had a little bit of fun. I only ended up paying like, I only ended up paying like five bucks out of pocket and then I paid for tax. So, um, other than that, this was just pretty much, I'm going to count these in my inventory as getting them for free just because this is all stuff I don't care about. It's all stuff that, you know, I've probably made my money back on the lots that I've got and I just can't track them. So, and it's just stuff that, you know, I don't have any sunken cost into anymore. Um, so I got some cool stuff here. I got some N64 games that I did not have to fill in the uh, gaps in my complete set. I got uh, Body Harvest, uh, ECW Hardcore Revolution, In the Zone 99. Price tags are all on there, so if you want to know what I paid. Um, Mace the Dark Age, Rush Extreme Racing, uh, Roadsters, and uh, Command and Conquer. And then I actually got a good game that I wanted to get um, this has been a game I, I don't ever find, so I wanted to get, it's more, a high, more higher end game, um, and I just wanted to grab it, so I grabbed, uh, Goemon's Great Adventure. Uh, I haven't played these, these games look like a lot of fun, so I'll have to do it. I don't have the first Goemon yet, but I have this one now, I haven't played it, I'll have to throw this in. I'll have to f- find which one of these stupid boxes my 64 is and take it out and play it, um, uh, because these games look like fun, I've seen some videos of them. So, got all those there. Um, pretty nice little 64 stack. Uh, other than that, I got a couple NES games. I was digging through their NES games, and I like getting the the unlicensed games, so I gra- grabbed a couple of those. We got uh, F-15 City War, um, which this is, you know... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what this game is. It's probably terrible, I'd imagine. And, of course, a classic, awesome, unlicensed game, Spiritual Warfare from Wisdom Tree. Um, just too good. Just too good. Um, other than that, another 64 game I got here. This one's in the box. Uh, I got Gex 3. That one's complete in the box and everything. Uh, now I have Gex and Gex 3, uh, complete. They don't, they didn't put Gex 2 on the, the 64, but I got the other ones complete now. That sets, that, that awesome, vital set to any 64 collections is complete. Um, got a new system actually. I'll probably put it, put that in the thumbnail. Or not the thumbnail, in the uh, just the title, probably in the thumbnail too. Uh, I got a new system. Um, this is a system I've been wanting for a while, but I just never find it at the garage sales. Um, and sometimes they're a lot, they're pretty expensive, but I had trade credit that, you know, I had to use. And um, pretty good price all around for it. I got, a, I got me a 32X. Um, their price was 40 in the store, which is pretty, pretty decent for that. I don't know, I'm not going to complain. Pretty decent for a 32X. 
Uh, it came with the, that one cable, this cable, which is a pain to find, came with that, and it came with the power cable and everything. So, all good there. Um, came with that little piece for the Model 2. Uh, he asked me which model I was going to use, and I'm going to use a Model 2. Um, so, came with that little piece. Uh, so, now I can throw that on my Sega Saturn, Sega CD, um, Sega Genesis Model 2, Sega CD, and I'll have the 32X. It'll have the ultimate uh, life support Genesis. Um so that's cool. Glad to grab one of those. I have a bunch of 32X games already, so now I can uh, mess around with those guys. Um, I just I find the games. I never find the system, so I have probably about five 32X games. Some decent ones like Virtual Fighter and Doom and stuff like that. So I'll mess around with those a little bit. Um, got a Super Nintendo game that I needed. I had the box for this one, but I um, didn't have the cart. So Super Black Bass. Uh, nothing exciting there, but... And then I got some Dreamcast stuff that I needed to finish off this little Stone Age haul here. A manual I needed to finish a game that I've had just back artwork and disc forever. Uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. I don't even remember where I got the back artwork and manual, but I did get it at some point. And then another game that I just didn't have. This was actually, funnily enough, I looked through their Dreamcast stuff, and this was the only game I didn't have of their whole Dreamcast set. And they had... a a decent selection of like game a decent amount of dreamcast games this is the only one i didn't have um unreal tournament so it's getting harder and harder and harder to find dreamcast stuff i i don't even know the count i'm at anymore i think i'm near closing in on 200 if i haven't hit it already but it is getting harder and harder um but yeah uh that is the end of this pickup video uh before i go i wanted to ask uh it's been three months since i came back from japan but i still have a lot of like vi video and pictures of other, you know, non-gaming related stuff uh, that I took from over there. So uh, let me know if you'd be interesting. I could probably put a video together talking about that time. Um, I, I was planning on making it, but, you know, the time just kind of <laughs> kind of just got past me with this an endless move and just other stuff I had going on. Um, but, yeah, just if you want me to, if, you're, if anyone's still interested in that, let me know. I'll, I'll kind of gauge what I see from the comments. Um, I might just still make it anyway, uh, just because it might just be interesting in general. Um, but that's that's that. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Objo Gaming. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Leave a comment with what you've picked up. And I will see you next time.